So the third quarter moon is setting. I say, what time is it? Well, I'm going to draw my picture of the sun and the earth just like normal, right here. And then I know where the moon is. The moon's third quarter, so the moon has to be in this position down here. Because I have this chart memorized, I know the third quarter position is down here. When I do that, then I say, what time is it? Well, the moon is setting. I have to figure out where Herb is. This is east. This is west. And when I do that, I say, oh, it's noon. Because the sun is, I mean, the uh, moon is setting. It's in the western position from Herb. All right, I was going to do a different one, but that was actually like the first one. We'll do one more. Hopefully, these are starting to make more sense to you. Let's say at midnight, where is the first quarter moon in your sky? Here's the sun. Here's the earth. Now I know the moon is first quarter, so the moon's up here. Here's the moon. Okay? And I know what time it is. It's midnight. So I know that Herb is right here. This is where midnight is. I'm going to draw his horizon. East is down, west is up. So west. because the Earth is spinning that direction. Where would it be in the sky? Well, if you were a herb right here, it would be in the west, the moon would be in the west, and so they would be setting in the west, or low in the western sky. All right. Hopefully those are kind of making sense. The key is the phase of the moon, remember the sun's over here, Back to this diagram. Sun's over there. The phase of the moon is where it is. So just memorize this chart so you know whatever phase it is, where it is on the diagram. And time is where Herb is on the edge of the Earth. Then you just combine those together to figure it out. Now we got to think about this the other way too. What if you lived on the moon? If you lived on the moon, would the Earth have phases? So the Earth is half lit up, right? This side's all in darkness over here. So let's say you were living on the moon, and you were up here. It was a it was a waxing crescent moon. Well, when you looked at the Earth, you would see that half of the Earth, or you'd see more than half lit up, only a little bit shaded. You would actually see that it's a gibbous phase. So yes, the Earth has phases, just like the moon has phases. So when you go live on the moon, you will see the Earth have different phases through the whole month. Now the phases are exactly opposite. So when it's a new moon here, you would see the lit up Earth, it would be a full Earth. So you always look all the way across. If it was a waxing gibbous moon, you would be a waning crescent Earth. So the moon would always be, I mean the Earth's phase is always the opposite of what the moon phase is. This also creates some interesting things too, if you've ever looked outside saw a crescent moon, but you saw the lit up side, you saw the part that's usually in darkness. We call this earth shine. What happens is, if you have a crescent moon right here, well then the earth is going to be nearly full. So you can have a really bright Earth, and the Earth is so much bigger than the Moon, it actually would be about 20 times brighter than any full Moon that we have on the Earth. The Earth is that much brighter, so it actually lights up the back side of the Moon. So the side that's usually dark, you can see because the light is reflecting off the Earth back onto the dark side of the Moon. And uh, we call that Earth shine, you only see it when it's near the crescent phase. You don't see it over here because when you're over here in a gibbous phase, the Earth is the only a crescent phase, so it doesn't have as much light to light up the dark side, so you can't see that. And so we call that special thing Earth shine. Also, just want to mention something. 
I was reading a comic book. This was many, many, many years ago. Actually, the Sunday comics, I think. I was reading Dennis the Menace. And they had this picture in Dennis the Menace of the moon. And it looked like this. It was a crescent moon. There were stars out. It was supposed to be nighttime. There were some curtains. It looked like this. And immediately that really bothered me being an astronomer because I knew that was totally wrong. Why is that wrong? Well, when you look at that, here's the crescent moon, right? Well, what lights up the crescent moon is the sun. If the sun, so the side facing the, of the crescent has to point right to the sun. So if the crescent moon was like that, the sun would have to be up here. If the sun was that high in the sky, would it be nighttime? No, the sun would have to be below the horizon. So you can't have the crescent moon pointing up into the sky during the night. It can do that during the day, but not during the night. So to fix this, all you have to do is rotate your crescent moon so it looked like that. Then the sun could be down here below the horizon and everything would be fine. I'm sure whoever did the comic didn't even notice that, but it's little things like that that I pick up on. I also, when I go to movies and they show the moon in the background, half the time the moon is upside down. Why? Because it's just easier for them. They just take some random footage of the moon and they throw it up there. They don't realize people can tell, people like me can tell, which way it should be, right side up or upside down. And it also depends on what hemisphere you're in. It's one way in the northern hemisphere. It's flipped over in the southern hemisphere. So it changes depending on where you are on the earth. All right, but that's it for moon phases.